I hear the term blacklist a lot. Blacklist? What does it mean? Maybe nobody blacklisted you. They just don't remember you. Oh, wow. Now, that, 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 that can happen. It's, it, it sounds harsh. Yeah. But the truth is, many people are not checking for me. Mm. I don't know. You're like, not really it, that important. Yeah. So, way down the list. And they just have never ever gotten to the point where, to, they, yeah, where they needed to reach out to us. That's so, that sad. happens. It's sad. And it's frightening. It's- Hi, guys. Welcome again to Secret Behind the Scenes. This is not season one. I mean, that is, you know, done and dusted. We are currently in our second season. Yay! You guys said, bring him back. And they said, hello, sir. How much is the money? Come back. And I'm here again. I'm really excited to be doing the second season of Secret Behind the Scenes. Last season was amazing. We had so many fantastic personalities come here and really share uh, what it is that goes on, you know, behind the curtains, behind the scenes of their crafts. And pretty much this season is the same thing, but with a little sprinkle of salt on the top if you know what i mean for extra you know sauce and taste anyways today will be fun i have someone in the studio who listening i think i take my shades off for this one because <laughs> he is super fantastic at what he does i have been a fan of his forever so this is a fanboy moment happening right now you know when, when i walked into the studio and i said like, ah! am i going to be interviewing this man wow 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 mass is beating but i mean charlie put it together put it together put it together okay he is I feel like if you if you're a fan of Nollywood, you definitely will know this face. He's one of those actors who are not everywhere. You know how actors select the movies that they do because every single story or every single character that they portray has to have depth. <laughs> he is that actor, but today we're not talking to him as an actor. Uh, interesting to note the fact that he also is a movie director. And I'm really excited about speaking to him, you know, as it concerns just directing movies, you know, coming from an actor's point of view as well. Anyways, today in the studio, I have the one, the only, the amazing, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Paul Otomi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Thank you Sorry, very much. You know, I, you might notice that I sweat around me. Nah. It's not that, you know, it's just that I'm really excited to have you here. I sweat a lot, so it's okay. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you. Hope, yeah. hope it wasn't difficult locating this space. No, it wasn't. Fantastic. I, I had no idea that Chevron, the drive, uh-huh. was this long, though. This really? Yeah. It yeah. is long. Yeah, it is. It's very yeah, long. Yeah. Well, welcome. Yeah. All right, let's get straight to it. So, we, we I know you, and I know a couple of, pe- couple of people know you, you know, as an actor. Yeah. And I mean, you've been doing, how long have you been acting for, first off? Uh, about over a decade. Yes. We have a cop coming. <laughs> we do look up to in this industry. Yeah. But yeah, you've been doing this for a minute. Yeah. A- and then having to find out that you you are also a director. Yes. Uh, over a decade as an actor. Yeah. A director how long? Um, under five years. About under five, five years. years, yeah. Why did you... I, I find it very interesting when actors begin to direct movies. Yes. Right? Or what's worse is when, you know, you're in a set and you find out that, you know, an actor who you're co-starring with is also directing that same film. Okay. Right? Why did you decide that, you know what, I think I can direct, I want to direct? The truth is, when I went to acting school, I also, at that same point, went to directing school, Uh basically back-to-back. And then I put that on the back burner Uh for a long time. Directing on the back burner. Yes, for a long time. So I think um, at the back of my head, I probably knew this was always going to happen. Right. Yeah. You went to acting school? Yes. Which acting school? Did you Amaka Igwe. Oh, Center bless for her film soul. Center and Video Excellence. It was exhilarating, eye-opening, and I think um, liberating, mm. to be honest, because uh, it was really top-notch education, mm-hmm. but it was practical. And mm. she kept reminding you, as much as you're gunning for excellence and everything, remember, you're in Nollywood. Right. So you're going to have to try and do the best you can with what you have and there's this saying she and um mr christy hitero always used to say done is better than perfect done is better than yes perfect. so so mm. the truth is you you agonize i want to make the best film I, I want to do this a certain way and then you never finish or you never put it out there mm. Uh, it kind of helped me with those demons, you know, right. learning to go, okay, I've done the best I possibly can with this project, yeah. writing it, crafting it, and shooting it. The world needs to see it. 
Mm. It's never going to be perfect or it's never going to be everybody's cup of tea. Mm. But if you've done the best you can, all that's left is to learn from your mistakes or from the critiques and move forward. Mm. Yeah. I feel like that's interesting, yeah. right? But I also feel like yeah, the fact that they had to say that, because that's a school, right? Yeah. Yeah. And these are your teachers. Yes. And the fact that they have had to say that must have stemmed from somewhere or some experience or some trend or, you know, practice in Nollywood, as it were. So as a director, what do you think is the issue? Why, wh- why do you think you literally always have to squeeze water out of stone almost every other time? Hmm. A host of reasons. I think uh, the way the economy at large is set up and the way people perceive certain industries mm. might uh, have a thing or two to do with perceive certain industries yes yes to be honest yeah. um I, I was listening to someone on a podcast the other day talk about america and mm. i go they live in a, in a country where being a musician you have an opportunity to you know really make money mm. and it's not available to everybody in every part of the globe yeah. and that's true yeah. some there's some really talented musicians or artists probably somewhere in georgia or mm. macedonia mm-hmm. who can't no matter how talented they are will never make the kind of money you will make if you're working in north america it's mm. just what it is yeah. so i think um being from nigeria right now the industry is growing but it's nowhere near what it can be yeah. so at this moment in time finding funding um meaningful funding mm-hmm. and getting people to believe in projects uh, uh getting people to fork out their money not just investors to, to p- people at home to come see the finished product not just at christmas mm-hmm. you know <laughs> mm-hmm. is uh we're, we're 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 not there yet we're we're, 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 getting, yeah, there. we're getting there yeah mm. okay now this this is one thing that i just yeah. always like yeah. to know yeah. I, I'm one. I'm one of those actors that think that you know. Hopefully, one day I, I would like to produce or direct something. Yeah. But I'm I'm a bit too. What's the word? I'm too. I judge myself a lot. So, like yeah. for example, like the projects I've done, and I'm sitting back and I'm watching, just like <sighs> cringing all the you know all the yes. way through. And of course, that's just that's just something I want to believe that a lot of people do, actors yes. and all of that. Yeah. You know, when you're watching your work, now, I begin to wonder, as an actor who is a director. This is this is, is different when oh, you went to school and started directing or all you do is just direct a film, mm-hmm. right? You you might know what you want to see and interpret it to the actor and whatever way the actor delivers it, that's fine. Right? Yes. But you were an actor. Yes. And then you were a director now. Yes. So how do you <laughs> first off, I don't know how to put this question. How what is that thing that a an actor would do or let's let's start from the beginning first off how do you appreciate how do you know a good actor as a director coming from an actor's point of view so you're directing a movie or a series or whatever it is and someone is every actor's performing but what is that one thing that an actor does that makes you go "Mm, this is a great actor not just a good actor (laughs) yeah i think that's the best way to put it (laughs) that is difficult Mm. that that is difficult because we're we're, we're the seven billion people on the planet and everybody has what makes them tick. Pop, Everybody. No, no, that's the truth. I, I've, yeah. I, I've been fortunate in my short time as a director to uh, work yeah. with a host of different personalities. Yeah. Um, one thing I appreciate, the one thing I think I appreciate is the attitude. The yeah. attitude is very important to me. On screen or off screen? Off screen. Nice. Off screen. So you're running lines and I'm saying, oh, try it this way. Do it this way. Mm-hmm. And then you're willing to try or to do or to listen. That is very important. And and, and not everybody has a great attitude or is willing to commit wholeheartedly to the project. A lot of times what what people are so caught up in themselves, sometimes in themselves. So they're thinking about, oh, my own performance, how I can make my character pop. Mm -hmm. But in this sequence or in this film i don't need your character to pop Mm. i need your character to be so just trust me so how do you communicate that to an actor though like i mean saying i don't need your character to pop yeah and to relax (laughs) 
<laughs> your character doesn't need to pop here. Yeah. I just need this it scene to be, work. It can be difficult. Yeah. It can it can be. Fortunately, nine out of ten times it's it hasn't been for me. Right. Uh, the one time it was I'm not gonna talk about that right Why? now. Why? <laughs> I wanna know <laughs> no, who no, are no. you working with? Yeah, no, I, what I think, happened? I, I think uh I, I think like I said moments mm-hmm. ago, mm-hmm. people get caught up in their own head. Yes. Like, oh, this is wh- how I think this thing should be, and, and 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 to be honest, it's it's not necessarily the person's fault per se. The truth is, they have life experiences, industry experiences, mm-hmm. where you work on projects and maybe people, um, people, what's the word? Have different methods, and then you you see the final work and you're like, oh, the editor didn't save me here. Mm. The editor, maybe things could have been done different here so you get you, you get that stuck in your head and you're like ah in, in this film i'm going to do this and when the director says no it's, it's fine don't, don't do it that way the director is probably trying to say in edit i'm not going to use that clip mm. i already know or i'm going to stay on the wide, wide for here mm-hmm. the, the mood i'm trying to set but the actor not, doesn't know that yes yeah, so you have to learn to communicate that okay yeah. This is what's probably going to happen, and this is how it's going to look. And trust me, you're going to look amazing because mm-hmm. if you look amazing, this film looks amazing. Right. Yes. So just basically find a way to communicate whatever it is. Yes. That you wanna. Yes. Who? who no, I, I won't say who. Yeah. But I know that people can be difficult. Right? Yes. Um, and as a director, I'm sure you've worked with a lot of difficult people. So not, not that many, really? to be honest. Not that many. You don't have any any experience. Of I have working. one. What happened? It was an experience. Just me. What happened? Don't call. Don't 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 don't, don't, tell, me, don't, tell, me, don't tell me the person. But like, just tell me. you know how. All I will say is, you know how. I've been doing this for like the directing part for just a few years. Right. So you're always eager and enthused when people go i want you to direct this project i'm like oh sure 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 Mm -hmm. and then i I learned something really valuable not too long ago where where friends who might be producing stuff go oh paul there's this person i want to cast in this role that you are directing like i'm directing Mm -hmm. like oh and i go sure 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 it's fine it's fine i mean you you know the person you know so it's fine you can cast the person in that role and then you get on set and you're like oh my god Oh my God! <laughs> you know, you're like, mm. how did I let this happen? Oh, wow! In terms of what, like the behavior or acting, or maybe the behavior, wow. more the the attitude is not great. That can happen. Yeah, mm. I mean, it's not so. It's not great, and you're thinking, okay, this is a bit poisonous. Mm, mm. But I put myself in this position, and I will learn from this. So next time, when people tell me, "Oh, Paul, I want you to direct something." Uh, I like to cast him or her. I'm like, slow down. Mm. Who is this person? Mm. Can I meet this person? Mm. Can I decide if I want to work with this person or not? Mm. Because moving forward, I, I'm, I'm like 90, but I don't look it. I, I look like 300 because that was really not a pleasant experience, if you know what wow. I mean. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah. that bad? It was terrible. Lady or gay? No, it was person. It was a person. I like that. Yeah. But that's, I, c- I can imagine how, so, so I mean, this this goes to say that, you know, generally as human beings, we should, you know, behave, be, be good, behave nice, because yeah. you never really can tell who's going to stop your next bag. No, 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 I'm not trying to stop anybody's bag. No, 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 no. I, we know, yeah. but it could be a deciding factor. I mean, yeah. your attitude is important regardless. Yes. So that's what yeah. it is. You just want people who are positive right. on your set, people who are coming in knowing, okay, we've all had bad mornings or bad weeks but we're on set now and we're dealing with other people and maybe it's best not to put everybody on edge mm-hmm. if we can avoid it mm-hmm. yeah that, that's basically it god i have so many questions for me i'm just gonna try to you yeah know. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I get excited talking to directors yeah generally even yeah. like on set off set right are you one of those be- because as the, like you said they're different human beings with different characteristics and different ways that they behave and how they interpret things right yeah I've worked with people who, directors, who would tell me, um, Charles, I don't want you going off script. Yes. And there are directors who, t- who tell me, this thing, like, this is just a guide. Okay, yes, there are lines and everything. Yeah. I need to bring this thing, this lines to life. You yes. know? So are you one of those directors who would rather, you know, let the actor be creative as it were? Mm-hmm. Or listen, do your job, read those lines, deliver it as a good actor and just... 
get out the door? That's an interesting question. Now, the thing is this. I, I write and I direct. Mm-hmm. Um, when, I, when you're looking at the story, the script, let me give you an instance. Mm-hmm. There's this film, Red. It's a foreign film about Red Riding Hood. Billy Burke, Amanda Seyfried, Shiloh Fernandez. There's a scene in the film where they killed somebody in the town. Mm-hmm. And her father was bereaved. He was in a tavern. And some other dude who was also angry that they just killed one of the townspeople was shouting in the middle of the bar, like literally trying to rile up the public mm-hmm. and get them to go out into the forest and look for the wolf right. that had attacked one of their townspeople. Mm-hmm. And in this sequence, he he's riling everybody up and people are going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says, he turns to the bereaved father at the corner of the tavern and says, what say you? Do we wait for reinforcements to come and then help us kill the wolf or do we go with our pitchforks and our torches and go look for the wolf and Billy Burke sits there and he says looking straight at the guy Mm -hmm. if we wait they will rob me of my vengeance Mm -hmm. and in that moment early in the film Mm -hmm. you're feeling like oh yes he wants to you know he's he he can't wait he Mm -hmm. wants his vengeance and then at the end of the film, when the twist is revealed, you're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm. That line takes on an entirely different Difference. meaning. Right. But if he had gone off script in that moment. Mm, it would have lost. Its yes, its essence. Mm. Now, so there's some lines and some moments in stories where stick to the script. Right. The lines are very much relevant. They mean everything. Right. Don't deviate. Yeah. Don't move the comma. Yeah. Just stay it as it is. You get my point now. Right. But there's sometimes when you're like, okay, I want this person to be comfortable. I want the audience to believe this person. Mm-hmm. So when you probably know how to use certain big words, and then I, you you you're like, okay, you're you're I say you're checking this babe in this scene, and I go, okay deliver the lines and you're like okay i can i can throw any witty three syllable word here that just makes it pop and you do and it works i'm not going to call you out and go don't, don't say that it mm-hmm. works mm-hmm. it works here mm-hmm. you can go off script you can choose sometimes not to say anything when all you're supposed to do is say mm, or no because it works in that moment mm-hmm. so it, it it depends on what is being what, what we're trying to achieve from moment to moment from project to project mm-hmm. I, I think i mean this is coming from a director who knows Yes, Charles Kibble. Quiet. Yes, but yeah, this I I think that <clears throat> this explanation is, it makes sense. Yeah, but their directors will just go no. That, that's that's not in this. What are you reading? I'm yeah. like I'm like bro. I'm trying to give interpretation to this thing. What are you talking about? But but yeah, filmmaking is visual. So what what I would add is this, and kudos to the late great Amaka Yeah, show me, don't tell me. So the filmmaker in me, every time. I can do away with dialogue and show the audience I do away with dialogue. Mm. I don't mm. know if I'm making sense. Yes, I really no. encourage the actors if there is no need to say anything here or it's too long-winded here, how do we cut it out and just use images to convey mm. our message to the audience? Mm. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. like that. Yes. I really do. Yeah. There is this trend that <clears throat> a lot of, you know, you know, people like me who are new actors um, hear a lot and yeah. so it somewhat scares us. Yeah. But I think you've sort of shed light, but I, th- I think I need you to go a bit more in depth to it and, you know, telling me what it is. I hear the term blacklist a lot. Blacklist. Okay. And when I, you know, did my investigation, I'm like, okay, what is this thing? What what does it mean? And they say, oh, they just stop giving you jobs. I'm like, okay, why do they stop giving you jobs? Yeah. Uh, and I said, for a myriad of reasons, maybe you didn't greet somebody, maybe you stepped on somebody's toes, mm-hmm. maybe da da da. Like, but human beings, th- there are days you could have a bad days. Yes. And maybe that's the day that you meet me. Yes. So it doesn't mean I'm a bad person. No, of course. And then the person who's explaining this thing to me tells me, yeah, that one's your business. Yes. This is just what, you know, it mm-hmm. is. And mm-hmm. it's a thing. And mm-hmm. it's happened, you know, mm-hmm. before and calls certain names of certain people. And then it, it clicks in my head. It makes sense mm-hmm. because, oh, this window of no, yes. literally not seeing this person, yes. it didn't mean that they were not available. Yeah. It just meant that they were. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So coming from you that you are the old at the top. Mm-hmm. Now you're not just an actor. Yeah. You're, you're at the other end. Why do they do that? 
That's an I, I know that. Question. I know that you. I mean, I know. I don't. Know you've heard it before. <laughs> you've heard of it before. I may be on some people's blacklist. So <laughs> oh, you can't. You say. <laughs> you see. I think the truth is this. Right. The truth is this. You know how when we were growing up and we're going to church, mm-hmm. and then there's always some man of God who is telling people there's somebody in the village who has it in for you, and everybody in church seems to be like, yes, I know that my auntie or that my uncle, mm-hmm. because. At the end of the day, we're always the stars in our own story. Mm. So something or someone is always holding us back. So there, there, there probably may not be that much water, you know, when it comes right. to black. Maybe, maybe nobody blacklisted you. They just don't remember you. Oh wow! Now that that that, that can happen. It's, it, it sounds harsh. Yeah. But the truth is, many people are not checking for me. Mm. I don't know. Like, really that's that, important. Yeah. So what's what's happening? What's happening more than likely a lot of times is this. Oh, I want to shoot a film? Oh, there's Charles B. Oh, there's Tommy C. You know? Okay, Tommy C is number eight on my list. Potential characters for this. Charles B. Ch- Ch- Charles is um number four. If I can't get X, I can't get Y, I can't get Z. I'm going to go mm. ask Charles if he's available. Mm. I never get to ask you. Because X says no, Y probably says yes, or X says yes, or Y and X say no, and Z says yes. Mm. Sometimes mm. that's if you are even on my list. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm making sense. Yeah, so are. I'm not. There's no malice a lot of the times. It's just that we're not on people's lists, or we're way down the list, and they just have never ever gotten to, the point where to they yeah where they to needed to reach out to us. That's so that sad. happens. It's sad and it's frightening. It is. Frightening. But in the words of I don't know if it was Morgan Freeman or. Jim Carrey, I can't remember. They, they say no matter what list you are in Hollywood, A list or B list or D list, there's one commonality. We're always waiting for the phone to ring. Mm. So the truth is that's what's likely happening. People Your are probably not ringing. going, I don't know if this is PG. People are probably not going, oh, fuck this guy. Mm. No, probably they're just not thinking about a lot of us a lot of the times, mm. you know? Then they run into us, to us at events after the fact and go, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Would have worked and moving on you know that kind of thing so that that's i would say 85 percent of the time that's what happened that's what's happening mm. a lot of talents they're all getting opportunities and we're not and we're thinking there's something wrong no we're just not on their radar i think it's because yeah. a certain sector of yeah. talents mm-hmm. are always getting the opportunities true so it's like why are you always using these people when there are a lot of other people that maybe fall in within the same category, or whatever, that can also work. Is it? Do, do you think that maybe the talent also needs to do a lot of work when it comes to maybe just staying top of mind in terms of oh, reaching out once in a while? Or that, things like that that might help. I don't know how effective that is because mm-hmm. the truth is, you're calling, I'm calling, Tommy C is calling, everybody's calling. You know that kind of thing. So sometimes mm-hmm. it's like I can't keep up producers the, the the decision makers can't keep up so they're polite and yeah 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 and they forget immediately the, the, the call and so you could try that i mean it's worth excuse me yeah. trying you could just hope or you could bet on yourself and try and put yourself out there by doing your own stuff open your own youtube open your own channel. youtube channel you know do your own do your do your stuff a lot of YouTube channels now. Have you noticed? Yes, I have. Everybody has like Yes, YouTube. and which speaks to what you said earlier. Now, you keep using certain people because maybe those people have shown that, oh, if they're in this film, it does decent numbers. Yeah. So everybody wants to play it safe and then use, use those, those same people. people. And there's also the fact that, oh, we're friends. Yes. So we're, we're good friends and I'm a director. I'm probably always going to call you first. So that happens a bit also. So it's I'm not hating on the other guy or the other girl. I'm probably just going to call my friends first people I have a personal relationship yeah. with. So that, that also happens a bit. So then maybe 5% of the time, people are on some blacklist somewhere. It's possible. But mm. most of the time, they're just not thinking about us. Right. Yeah, Great. So I think that a lot of um, new new actors, even actors in general, yeah. would want, to, want me to ask this question. Because half the time, yeah. you're asked to send audition clips yes. or monologues, yes. you know, whatever, in post them or whatever and it's and, and i always complain about this to like whoever cares to listen i think it's not fair even though the response that i get makes sense but i always say i don't think it's fair that you ask you know um someone or some people or whatever to send in monologues or audition clips yeah. and um it's okay you don't use them for the job that's fine but you literally just 
go like you go silent you ghost them mm. you don't say oh this oh what you're, you're, you're this is great but uh you don't think you fit the character or um this is a horrible maybe not say horrible but this mm-hmm. is not ex- this is a not so great um you know audition or whatever i feel like the feedback is important for the creatives right yeah. so as a director I w- i'd like to ask what makes a good what in your own understanding what makes a good audition tape in my humble yeah. opinion yeah i like to hide this? yeah yeah now i want to see your face okay i really just want to see your face I want to know that you can be. Right. I don't want hand gestures. I don't want you looking from left to right if you can avoid it. I just want to believe you in that moment. It also helps if you pick a monologue, an actual monologue from an actual film that I may have seen or at least heard of. So that way I know you're great with lines. Mm. You're great with make-believe. Mm. And I want this framing. I don't need to see how tall you are. Mm. I want to see this. And when I say monologue, I don't mean a dialogue. Monologue, that's me. It's just my preference. You know, when I when I used to audition a lot, open auditions, I, I had like two or three monologues prepared from films like Drive, Captain Corelli's Mandolin, um, The Adjustment Bureau, and stuff like that, Green Hornet. And I'd go in there and deliver. And a lot of the times I probably wouldn't get the job, but I, I, I like to think I left an impression. But uh, you see a lot of um, audition tapes where people are going... And no shade, because we're all learning and mm. growing where you're going, oh, you cheated on me? Oh, stop there. I can't believe that. Put your hand down. And maybe don't ask that question. You know, may- maybe do an actual monologue from an actual film. Nigerian, African, foreign, you know, just do something. Make me believe. Mm. And look at the camera. Right. Don't look away make me believe and my friend will always say the acting is in the eyes yes there's a scene in Bolt I don't know if that makes sense a Disney cartoon if I'm not mistaken where the super the, we see the dog's eyes on the screen and the director in the film says if the dog believes it the audience sees it mm. and they believe it and that's what acting for screen is to me you are welcome. Yes. I've told you now you know how yeah. to do a monologue <laughs> yeah. next time. What is what is the I feel like this is putting you on the spot, but yeah, yeah whatever. You've been paid for that. <laughs> 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 what what is the what is the which is or like which is the best project you have directed personally and from a personal point of view? Maybe you you just felt like you you really d- delivered as a director on this one. I mean you always deliver, but this one just stays here. Ah, <sighs> that's hard. Mm truth is off the top of my head i would say country hard but i uh, saw country hard yes. it was brilliant thank you because i wrote it so there's that like uh, okay but i have uh directed a few other films that I, I i would say i would i don't want to say the best but i have a lot of respect for some of the people who worked on those projects mm-hmm. because they were asked to pour water from stone and they they tried they give it their all and whether we succeeded or not is up to the audience and uh but they they were outstanding mm. in their uh, in their pursuit of excellence and uh and uh it would probably be unfair for me to say oh country hard just like that uh but every project i have worked on i have tried to pour my all into i don't of course the results may not always be the same but uh in different ways they are they're all dear to me mm-hmm. you know at this moment in time anyway okay yes so outside finance because you've mentioned that already yes. but outside money and finance yeah. what are the other um what's the word challenges have you faced just being a film director you know 
that one that other one thing that you think is saying if this if this could be better yeah and outside money it would really help my job <coughs> hmm. outside money because everything stems from money in yeah. a sense time quality of the people you're working with both in front of and behind the camera <laughs> you know no i'm just i'm being honest everything i love so, it so so it's like saying outside money then what else is there hold on let's yeah. go back yes quality of people behind and in front of you know yes. the camera yes. so are you saying budgets for actors and crew yes so for example if you know i want to work with charles and charles is xxy million yes and the next person is saying is in thousands. That's my best bet because I don't have Chelsea's money. Yes. So I would rather, mm, okay, I get you. Yeah. So to be honest, and we're all people who have lived for a while on this planet. Yeah. So we know sometimes just because something is worth more than the other or value or priced more mm -hmm. than the other doesn't mm -hmm. mean that thing is better than the other. This person is better than this person. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it does. Mm -hmm. It might not be that way forever. Because we're always learning. So if you met a first-year lawyer today, and he tells you, "Oh, my, my retainer, my, my, my retainer fee is two hundred thousand naira," and then you go and meet maybe like Femi Falano or so, and he tells you, "I'm twenty million naira to retain me." There's a reason why, right. you know. There's a reason why. Now, one day, hopefully, one day soon, that first-year lawyer will be as skilled as. You know, Falana, but maybe right now you pay 200,000 error, you get 200,000 error service. If you follow what I'm trying to say, that, that's that's basically what it is, even right. for acting yeah. and for the talents behind the camera. Sometimes you're like, oh, you, you want to accomplish some things. And if, if you're working with people who have done this over and over again, they've made a million mistakes. Yeah. So they know what not to do. Mm -hmm. And they're charging you a bit more. There's a reason why. Experience. You know that kind of okay. thing, experience, and uh, they know exactly what to what do to, to get it done. So, th so there's mm. that. That that that, and it's no shade on the young up and comers, in front of and behind the camera, because we're always learning. We're always trying to get better. You know, so it, it is what it is. Okay. Sometimes, yeah. Do you think that Nollywood is somewhat controlled in the sense that there are movers and shakers who are not moving and shaking, for lack of a better word? I'll explain. Um, <clears throat> Um, once upon a time, there was, you know, a, a situation or, you know, a gist or whatever, where, oh, if you want to put your project on a certain streaming platform, um, these are literally, these are the people that, you know, mm. you have to, if mm. these people are not speaking, yeah. or, you know, it's going to be, you might get your work on yeah. there, but it's be difficult or you, you'll be paid literally little or nothing above your, you know, um, capital. Yeah. Right. I don't, I don't know what it is like because I don't produce or direct, but these, I mean, people who have produced or directed things have yeah. always had said those things in hush tones here. here they do? There. You oh. know that blacklist you spoke about earlier? Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't want to get on it <laughs> if I'm not already on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. If you're not ready on it, <laughs> because you because I hear these things yeah. and I'm just like, really? Yeah. And these are the reasons. These are some of the reasons why I'm just like, I I don't know that I'm ready because I'm not personally. Mm. I don't give two sh fucks about people. Yeah. So like, if I do a good job mm -hmm. and I bring this is my job, I mm -hmm. think it's fantastic. Yeah. You watch it, you like it, or yeah. you don't. Yeah. I'm gonna kiss ass because but I want you to. Yeah. So when I hear these things, yeah. I get a bit uncomfortable. So that reason again, why I'm asking. Yeah. It's because you're a director. No, I don't want to know. Nobody ever said the world was fair. Right. That's the truth. Nobody ever did. So what happens a lot of the times, not just in our industry, in the world, is you do a great job at something and other people seem to, you know, get rewarded way more than mm -hmm, you, do. you do. And you probably wonder, like, why is that happening? You're human. At the end of the day, you're going, I, I deserve more. But life happens. Life is life. And we just have to make the best. Is it of fair? nobody ever said the world was fair, fair. you know like <laughs> the, uh, the truth is you, thankfully because of technology and because of the way the world is constantly evolving certain things have not remained the same mm -hmm. for a long time so right now i might be a gatekeeper or i'm the only one that can help you get water from this tap and then in maybe six months or a year or two, three years, we find out, oh, okay, there is a spring now at the other side mm -hmm. that you could just walk to. So you may not necessarily need, so it'd be nice to come to get water from here, but if this is unavailable, you could go to that spring and fetch water with a pail. 
like a lot of YouTube, mm-hmm. and God mm-hmm. only only time will tell what other platforms we'll will up. yeah will avail themselves to us, and uh, if we stay vigilant and keep trying to do the best we can, m- maybe just maybe we don't have to go cap in hand to certain people if we choose not to. Maybe those people will come around and decide that okay maybe the best thing for them and for the industry mm. is to try and make this as levelly playing field as possible mm. but you know time will tell time yes will tell. yes do you, do you honestly see nollywood getting to a place where royalties will become a thing i hope so i hope so now what, what will probably happen is mm. some of us will die on the altar and be martyrs and i was watching saving private ryan again yesterday and i, I remember I, I i i watched the first scene mm. all over again and i'm like oh my goodness it was visceral it was completely visceral and there's this moment where tom hanks his character picks up his helmet when he beaches he arrives at the beach from the, the U-boats, you know, the, the, the destroyers, and he, he arrives at the beach, and they'd been shelling, and people were losing their limbs around him and everything. And his helmet fell off his head. And they cut to a shot where I can see him, I can see the water. It's red. And I'm like, I, when I watch those documentaries, and you listen, you're like, oh, this thing happened, they had mm-hmm. to land at Normandy and take the beach. You don't understand what it meant. They crawled over dead bodies mm-hmm. to take France. Mm. So when I think about my industry and I'm like, okay, right now there's some people at the gates who don't want certain things to change, rightly or wrongly. And we are trying to hopefully elicit that change. Mm-hmm. If we are the first wave, and that's what we are, Actually. We're the first wave of attack who are trying to push against this. There will be carnage. Some of us will lose our limbs and bloody the water. And that will be that for those coming behind us to benefit. And they may not say thank you. It's just what it is. Mark Bosman gave up his entire footballing career. I don't know if you know the story for people like Messi and Ronaldo today to become multimillionaires. But it is what I think it is. I, I'm, I'm very much aware that I, if I'm not brave enough, I hope some of my colleagues are understanding that you will fight this fight and be a casualty mm-hmm. for the people for coming the people. behind us. Yeah. It's really sad. But I we mean, have to fight. <coughs> yeah. yeah. When, when, when you, I think it was a few days ago, I was, I was on the internet and then I, I stumbled on um, information on friends yeah. and how they still make a lot a shit ton of money um, from that series even up and until now yeah. you know and then we're here and our legends as it were yeah. are you know just just that, that whole debacle so so I mean for example yeah. the Mr. Ebu situation yeah. and all the drama that happened just because of some couple of millions that remind, we needed rem- for him remind to, me oh he was ill when oh. he was ill and okay. then people were so it's for funds it was a whole okay. you know fiasco on social media can I, can I ask this question right. I don't know I mean when I was a kid let me let me it's an anecdote when I was a kid I remember I wasn't a kid I was a kid I was young anyway I was in the industry I remember an, a, a newspaper article you know and, and probably were like they had banned certain actors mm. Genevieve Benaji you know that kind of thing they mm. banned them the marketers had banned them and in my own understanding oh they must have been bad. difficult bad you know that kind of, that's the framing the problematic I think we can both agree that Omotala and Genevieve are not anytime soon going to be asking the public for money mm. because they so th- clearly there was a lot more to that situation than we were being told by certain people in the media if you know what I'm saying right so but if you're always the good guy in quotes you're always affable you're easy to get mm. along with in quotes you got a point now there you know people might take advantage of I hear you. you you, I you hear know Mr. Ibu is a lovely lovely person and it's sad that this type of thing would happen but the truth is I was telling me someone I hope will become a friend recently I think this morning that oh 
you go into an office to negotiate and this has happened to me on countless occasions and i go oh i think uh i'm, I'm earning 10 10 era now and the business is doing well you know okay i mean we just picked up season two you know that kind of thing I'm, i would like to get 12 naira and i didn't ask for 20 million naira i said just 12 naira mm -hmm. and then you're thinking oh there, be, yeah, then there might be some pushback you go oh Charles, can I get 12 naira? You might go, oh, Paul, I hear you, but I can't do 10. I, that 10 is still fair. At least say that. Mm. But what happens is this. So just ask me for a raise. Just ask me for a raise. Say, Paul, I think I deserve more. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, like, give me more money. God damn you! I brought you up from the car! Mm. Who are you? Get out! Get out of the... Get out, not of the office. Not of, get out of Nigeria. Of Nigeria. That, <laughs> they, like, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happens? Whoa, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, can we, the, can we talk? You know, mm -hmm. but no, no. So there's a lot of, when people stand up for themselves, they want to cut you off at the knee. Yeah. It is just what it is a lot of times. Hey. I, it's, it's interesting how I didn't think about it from this angle. Yeah. Now, now that you raised it, because I, I, I see it. If I'm sure you know mm. what I'm talking about. I'm I talking do. Talking about a lot. And I like, do. I'm not fighting, you know. Like, like just <laughs> relax. It's just extra I'm asking for. It's not like, it's that deep. Really, I hear you. you. And, and, it's and, a, and the people shouting more often than not, they are shouting from their brand new limousine. Yes, yeah, so, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, so. like, I, I, come down, dude. Yes. Let me even give one just there. <laughs> I, I heard a song I even heard yeah. recently. Actually, I can't mention names, yeah. but it was. It's a huge movie. Yeah, it was a huge movie yeah. on a streaming platform yeah. that currently is coming back as a series. Ah, we all know this story. Oh, we know the story. We all know this story. Listen. <laughs> When I, I heard I what so happened, happy. I was so happy. I was so happy. <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was like, yes, was so that's happy. how you do it. Yes. Because what? Yeah. I mean, it yeah. only makes sense. I, I, I also wish that p we just don't talk about it. We take notes. But mm -hmm. do understand that whilst it went well for our, bre our brother, yeah. you know, yeah. some stories won't have that ending. Of course it's right. That's, That's what I'm like, saying. Ah, yes. There will be blood on the street. Yes, you blood. know that kind of thing. And yeah. then you just have to make peace with, I might be the casualty here. Mm -hmm. And knowing that in the in the long run, it will be worth it. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of thing. I like, I like every, like, I mean, yeah. this has been really yeah. educative, yeah. for lack of a better word. <laughs> and I just, I, I like, I enjoy speaking to creatives because, I mean, they just like to have insight into things. Okay. Um. So... B before I let you go, I want to know, um, are there like any new things that your work, projects you're working on as a director now that, I don't know if you're allowed to say. Yeah, well, the two films, I directed a film last year, um, a romantic drama. Hopefully it'll be out sometime this year. The trailer is out. It's called The Way We Were. Um, mm -hmm. I also directed two other films. One of them will probably be streaming on a cable platform, excuse me, sometime this quarter. Okay. Uh, it's called Omo Awo. Omo Awo. I think I'm saying it, I hope I'm saying it correctly. Omo Awo. Oh, you're bad, you? Yeah, yes. I hope I'm saying it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What does, it, what does it mean? Do you know what it means? I, uh, son of... I know Omo means like child of something. A herbalist or... Okay. Yeah, Baba Lao's son. Okay. I'm sure you get... So, yeah. So, that, that's that So, it's one. like epic or... It's, it's, no, it's not epic. It's uh, a drama. Right. Supernatural drama Ooh. Yeah, some romance in there yeah. uh then i did another crime drama it's called mumu man or that's the working title i had fun working on that one uh it but we're, we're currently post mm -hmm. so hopefully that one will see the light of day sometime this year and i'm currently trying to you know get a psychological thriller going with a mm. group of friends and then hopefully we'll see we'll see where we go i want to be in a horror movie so bad okay. just in case you hear anything on the street okay. I, okay i feel like you know how you 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 watch so much horror yeah you feel like listen if you cast me in a horror movie i will give you the i will give you your money's work yeah i know what to do i just yeah. i just feel like i want to be in a horror movie yeah but, but not not um nigerian type of horror it's not getting better i'm quite quite type of horror. it's getting it's yeah, getting I said uh, it. no, I didn't. I please, <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't. I, <laughs> I used to, it's a good film, but uh, I didn't. I, I, yeah. I didn't say anything okay. because, That's honestly, true. honestly, what I I will say is, mm -hmm. um, they tried. Yeah, they did. They tried. It, it 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 probably would have been easier to go. Let me just shoot some glossy rom com. Mm. And that would be easier Cute. to push, mm -hmm. but they 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 tried. They did, and and and, and I wasn't scared, but they tried. Which which defeats the purpose of horror, in my opinion. 
was supposed to be frightened. I wasn't frightened. I I, I enjoyed the story. Yes. Don't get me yeah. wrong. I thought the story was really good. Yeah. But the point I'm supposed to, ah, I did, I'm like, what's happening? We, we are getting we are. better. Yeah. The execution is getting better. I, I, I would say full marks for attempting. Yeah. I would be, to be fair, it's not easy yeah. to try. Yeah. It's easy to say, I will try. But they, they put um, one foot in front of the other and tried to make something. Have you ever seen films that you just feel like this film just died in post? Yes, okay. I have. I, I have, to be honest. But I do also understand that a lot has gone into this. You know, and, and at the end of the day, look, let people see it, let people pan it, you'll learn from it. But like, I'm, I'm big on name. Like, I'm just big on legacy. I don't want my name to be associated, associated with something that was just subpar. And by subpar, I mean, like, really, really, like, below the you know, yes. bottom of the barrel but, type. But, 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 but what is subpar? Let me, be, why I ask is this. Do you watch, do you, what sports do you like? Do I you like sports? like sports? What do you like? Well, do. Something I might have an interest and idea Good. about. Food. Beautiful. Now take food, for instance. There are the Gordon Ramsays of this world, mm-hmm. you know? And then there's that beautiful soul from, was it Kwara Waikisi that tried to break the world record? Dami, recently. Chef Dami. Chef Dami. Th- there is a chance that she is quite talented mm. and there's a chance that she's not mm-hmm. as talented but that doesn't mean if she, if, if she dreams of being a chef she can, we c- she can try so there, there there are some filmmakers in our space who are doing the very best they can so just because they're not as good as steven spielberg or quentin tarantino doesn't mean that they're bad that they're bad they're doing the very best that they they really can they're, they're pushing themselves but mm-hmm. this is what they have to offer uh, and, and and I don't want to be a dick, if you know what I mean. It's it's easy to go, oh, I could have done better, or people are doing better. Yes, people are and can do better, but they may honestly be pushing themselves to the hilt, and this is what they have to offer. And I can commend that the efforts and go, oh, th- you did try. You, it, it, it it is on some level commendable. Okay. Yeah. You did try, commendable. So, do you do, are you are you doing more acting uh, anytime soon? Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> so the the plan, hopefully, I don't, I can't speak too much, is uh, to get the psychological thriller off the ground. Hopefully, sometime this year, maybe another project, mm-hmm. and hopefully, we'll find uh, the inspiration for the story for another project, and then we'll get those two. Uh, do a bit of acting also this year and, and okay. see what happens. I open your own YouTube channel anytime soon. Now, the, the thing is this about the whole YouTube thing. It crossed my mind a couple of years ago, to be honest. But at that point in time, I and even till now, to a certain extent, I'm not sure. Maybe I have a bit more of an idea, but still, it's not concrete. Why? Mm. it's like someone who maybe can't sing being told oh you should sing akpala or you should sing hip hop because that's what's trending now but it's, if it's not you it's not sure that it's not you true. and if you end up doing it I think people will see through that and go oh, it's mm, you just did something. it because yeah, yeah. Something, it's, not, it's not you yeah. so for those people who are succeeding at it it probably is authentically them Their passion yeah whatever we think of the project, it's authentically them and they have a passion for those type of projects. Whatever I think about those projects, they just keep pushing them out and they, they're finding their audience, they're finding their crowd and kudos to them. Kudos to them, really. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Kudos to you guys. Yes. You're doing fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you. Okay, so I mean, it's, b- it's been a fantastic conversation. Thank you for coming. Uh, you. This was really interesting and insightful. Yeah. Uh, but how do we uh, find you for those who don't know you? <laughs> I, if you don't know him, first of all, I think you live under a rock. But <laughs> That's <okay>. not true. <laughs> <laughs> how do they find you on social media? I am on Instagram as Paul Utami. I'm on Facebook as Paul Utami or Paul Chibuzo Utami. And on Twitter as Paul underscore Utami. Yes. There you go. Those yes. are the handles. Please yes. follow and you know support. Like he said, uh, a couple of his projects are coming out, so you want to 
channel your support and energy towards you know good projects, very good projects. At least movies where they say drama and it's actually drama, where they yeah. say it's comedy, it's actually comedy. Where they say it's horror, it's actually horror. Hopefully, hopefully, yes, yeah, I believe. All right, see you in the next one. <laughs>